He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, before whom all desires are known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In 1 John, we are reminded that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. The truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Responding to this scriptural invitation, we join together in offering up this common form of confession. Most merciful God, we confess that we are in bondage to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Hear the good news. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, has had mercy upon us and has given his only Son to die for us. And for Jesus' sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister in the Church of Christ, I am under orders to share with you the good news that all of your sins are forgiven. You are freed from the power of sin and death and given the gift of true life forever through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah.